Today I'm sharing a really fun way to take a balloon stencil, do some masking, and make a very fun birthday card. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm working with some new products from Gina K Designs and a new product from me as well. I'm going to combine them together to make a really fun birthday card. You could do this with any balloon stencil or really any shape stencil at all. It just takes a little masking, a little blending, and the magic ensues. To see that card project, stick around. It's coming up next. I hope my glasses hit the pimple. Here's all the products I'm going to be working with today to create a really fun birthday card. I've got this stencil from Gina K Designs it's called Bold Balloons. I'm going to do some masking. I've got some heavy base weight white cardstock and then got this lovely little rainbow of color. Please don't look at those. It's very bleached out from when I used to have them in the sun, but this is a favorite combo. In fact, I just did a card recently and I'll be sure to pop a card up with the same colors just to show you another card project using these inks and other stencils. So let's get started and get some masking and get set up to ink blend. So I've pulled out a grip mat that I'm going to use just to hold my cardstock in place. But what I'm going to do is I cut a few pieces of masking magic and let's see, how do I, how do I split this apart? I can usually see it. I am going to get the edges started because I'm going to create a little panel that has beautiful blended balloons. So let's get you going here. I know I can do it. I'm a highly trained professional. Come on now. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so for the first area, I'm going to mask off right here. And I'm going to go right to the edge as close as I can get. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. So it's not the end of the world if it's not, you know, if I get a little on the edge here. But the goal, of course, is to isolate this side. And then I want to isolate uh, another panel another bit over here, but I want to do less on this side. So I'm going to take this smaller piece and this is three quarters of an inch. I'm going to take that backer off and we are going to pop this one. Well, I guess I can go in the same direction here, right on this side so that it's going to be a little offset. And when I crop it down, you will see that, you'll see more of that. Now, I don't really need these in the bottom, I sh but you know what, I can leave them for now. Like that, because I can use that, and I can use that. So, we have, yeah, let's do it this way. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So, I'm placing this on the mat, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some patterns with balloons going all the way down. And what's going to happen here? Now these balloons are kind of fun. They have the little um, little shadow in there if you want it. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not, but I will tell you what I'm going to do is I do need to make sure that I mask off. And I can use mask my leftover pieces here for this. I want to make sure that every balloon that I do is isolated on its own and we don't have to deal with this. I'm also going to grab some post-it notes because I prefer not to waste masking magic. I'll use the leftovers, but I'm going to put on some music and I am going to start layering in a pattern of balloons. Oh, actually, you know what though? I'm, I'm doing rainbow order, so we're going to start in the center of the rainbow and that's going to be the yellow. So let me, my, let me get my brush and we'll get started.
those are my balloons. And now, before I take them off the masking, I might do a little something something with some spatter in here, so hold tight. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna take things that are on my brush and just do a little extra to create a panel border. And it will be very light. You're not gonna see much here, right? I'm coming up, I get my yellow one back, come in here. Oh yeah, it'll show up. Whatever's on my brush, we're just gonna we're gonna make it work. I'm just taking all the little leftovers here, a little orange, like that. Okay, maybe a little pink up here. Like that. Well, that's a little. That was a little more there. All right, like that. I don't think it's gonna affect the brush much at all. I think this is gonna look good. Cause then you get just, oh, that was a little dark. Well, you know what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> It'll dry back a little. Uh, yeah, that was the red one. Okay, I meant to grab the pink one. You know what? It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Okay, come in here, a little pink. And we'll just get some of that. Because then this will have a little more definition. And that's, I think we do want that. Yeah, I think we do. All right. Maybe a little right there. Okay. And a little more yellow over here. In there. All right. Right now it's looking a bit hot messy, but I, I think I could be wrong. See, I don't have my uh, clips on. I took them off, but I think this will be okay. All right. We're fine. We're good. We're going to let it all dry back. I think this is better because then we are actually going to have a bit of a boundary when we peel this off. So now I don't know. Do I want to put some spatter on? I think I do. Hold tight. <laughs> I have a new product that I purchased last week. It's called Spellbinders Splatter White. It is an opaque watercolor. It is bleed proof. It is high coverage. I have never used it because I use a liquid one quite a bit, but I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to show you. It's a very small jar, but apparently this is going to last a really long time. Well, we'll see. So I'm going to open this, open it up. Oh boy. I think I just lost a bunch just on here. Uh, there, and again, don't, when you get it, there's, it looks like there's not a lot, but it is measured by weight. Okay. So you are getting, what does it say in here? Literally like 0.25 ounces. So here's, here's what we're going to do and take a brick. Okay. Gonna take a little, just a little with my paintbrush. That's probably, you know what, that's probably too much, but okay, close it back up, keep it tight. And then I'm gonna add water to it to mix it. And that is going to create what I'm going to spatter. I think that's enough. So let's just do a little on our balloons. Oh, that is a very fine spatter. Oh my, interesting. Now I'm using my little brush here, meaning my number two round, but that is just a very fine little spatter. Hmm, okay, that's looking good. I just thought this would add a little something something. So I am trying this product out for the first time. I'm gonna go clean this up and I'm gonna let that dry. So now, let's zoom in here a little bit. Of course, I'm gonna let everything dry back before I do any trimming, but let's go ahead and lift this up off my panel. Oh yeah, I'm so glad I decided to do a little ink blending. It will blend out and I'm probably gonna trim this a little, but look at how crisp that line is. Same thing over here. How fun is that little panel? Maybe a little dark up there, but again, we'll make it work. All right, I'm gonna let that spatter all dry nicely. And you can see it's nice. It's quite, it's quite fine. And it is quite, oh, not opaque. Wait, is high opacity? Ugh. Opacity is one of those words like nonfiction and fiction, or nonfiction and opacity. You know what I mean? You can't really see through. So that is a nice little white spatter. All right. 
I'll let that dry. For my greeting, I'm going to use my CC Design Happy Combos. And they're all sorts of script and sans serif combinations to do a happy with or you can also just stamp it. There are coordinating dies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little tiny birthday and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do script. I don't, I like the look of this. So what I'm going to do, let's get this out of the way for now, is pick this up. Okay. And I actually just got something new that I want to try and it is this. Wait, 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 where did it go? I just had it. I just got some Altenew stamp conditioning erasers. Now, I use my fingers for this, but you can get these little erasers. And I just thought, you know what? They feel good. And I think they just prime. Oh, that is that is kind of cool. You can see how the it gets unshiny. Oh, that's fun. All right, I'm going to keep the it, pack comes with three of them, so I will put those away so when this one lives its life will replace. I'm going to powder this up just a little, although the one thing I love about Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight, it's a very smooth finish, and I find that compared to Nina Classic Crest Solar White, powder kind of slides off it really well, but here I just want to do a light tap and pick up, a light tap and pick up. You don't want to squish, it's a very delicate little greeting. And now all we'll do is we will add some powder. And I'm gonna use my Brutus Monroe Gilded, which I like for teeny, teeny tinies. And let's see, where did I, I don't even see where I stamped it now. Where did I stamp it? <laughs> where, oh boy. Where did I, oh, it's, it's down here. Okay, there we go. You know, sometimes you just put powder down and then, see where the chips may fall. I'm going to brush off the extra here because I can use this cardstock for other things, but that is a very nice little greeting. So let's funnel this back in and then I will melt this powder and use the die to cut that little sentiment out. That is so nice. It's very small, but look at how nicely that holds all those details. All right, I'll get the die to cut that out. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this so I don't waste this nice cardstock. And I'm going to line this up. The dies are so little, but they're generous too. So this is these are not hard to frame out because I gave them I give them a little room when I designed them. But I'm gonna stick a piece of tape on here because it is tiny and it could slip even though my mat is magnetic. Okay, so we'll just go like that and I will cut this out. Alrighty, and now I have a very tiny, but very sweet little, oh, it's so little, a little birthday. And I'm gonna cut out one more of the outline shape so that I can have a little more dimension on that birthday greeting. And then I will just glue those together with some connect glue for dimension. And then I'll go ahead off camera and cut out a few happies in the white card stock and one in matte gold. So I've glued my first layer onto a shadow layer. And sometimes I feel that once you get that set up, it's almost easier to build up right on top of what you've glued. So instead of, you know, holding it with the tweezers and gluing it that way, you can just put your glue right down on your little base layer here. And of course, you know, just, just dot it on. I like this little bottle because it really does let me get the tiniest little dots. I don't want it to ooze out, right? But, and if it does, it's not the end of the world. All right, coming on here. Just get, make sure you get all the little letter form serifs on there, the little square feet and whatnot. And then you take your second one, and I guess here tweezers can be helpful, but honestly, I don't even need them when I'm doing it this way. You just drop it on, and then you can pick it up, and you can easily slide it right over the top of the other one. See that? And then it's all nicely lined up. Then 
Just let it sit for a second, right? Make sure it's in there. And then you can start again with your next layer. I, I like to do it this way because it's just, like I said, I think it's a little, maybe a little easier. And I used to, well, I still use spray glue sometimes, but I've been trying to do more liquid because liquid has a little more forgiveness than spray glue. Spray glue doesn't really move much once you press something together, the papers, whatever they are, be them, you know, die cuts, etc. So a little liquid glue is a little, a little more forgiving. So we'll take our gold layer. This is matte gold cardstock from Simon Says Stamp. Drop it down. I like to pick it up. Just make sure that I'm seeing what I want to see. Okay, everything's decently lined up and that looks pretty good. All right, and then pop this on. And then I have my little birthday also with gold and I just have to figure out my placement with that. And we're gonna trim this down just a little bit. So I'll grab a die to do that. I'm gonna use Gina K Designs Master Layouts 1. This is a great layering set. We're gonna take the smaller one and I will get this positioned with the crop that I want. And this is where I can do a little more of an offset and I can even come down a little more to kind of get rid of where I mucked up, right? It wasn't horrible, but this way I'm gonna get much more of an offset. So I'm gonna tape that into place once I know it's where I want it to be. Come here now. And I will go, I will go cut that out. And then I think I'm gonna cut a, well, I don't know if I'm gonna cut a gold layer, shadow layer. I might, but I might not. All right, I'll cut this out and we will continue. All righty, let's see how it looks. Okay, so now I have this nice little crop, right? It's shifted off to one side. And if I wanted to, and I, I know it would look good, I could cut some gold out and then glue those together. I think I'm gonna do it. Now, you could cut the center out if you want to, if you want to save gold cardstock. The reason I'm not going to, I have so much of this. I, I do buy this um, and stock up because I never want to run out of it. And I sometimes don't like the dip down. It's very subtle, but that's, that's it. That's going to be my luxury in life. <laughs> I only have two pairs of shoes, but I, I'm going to not cut the center out. Okay, here we go. I'm going to line it up right on that beautiful piece of gold. And I think this was a good call because it gives you that really nice little edge. And that's gonna be so cute. All right. You know, in hindsight, if I had thought about this in advance, I could have done a gold spatter, but I still like it. I still think it's cute. So I'm gonna put foam tape on the back of this and then figure out how we are going to arrange our greeting. So let's move these out of the way and bring in our card base, which is going to be white. I wanted this to be on the Gina K Designs. Heavy base weight white. We will score five and a half. Get a nice good score line in there. And I will give this a nice press with my Teflon bone folder and be sure to tape it closed just so it stays closed while I'm popping my panel down. Okay, I'll tape in there and close you up. All right, give you another press there. Okay, let's take the backers off here and I just have some Altenew foam tape. I don't know why I'm using my jewels and not my tools, but some days you just gotta do what you gotta do. And we're just gonna pop this down. Oh, I really do like this, it's so simple but also very sweet. And I do want to have it have this look because that's kind of how I designed the set, that you can have, you know, you can stamp the word too. This, this right here, the die, is the exact same size as, now I can't find the stamp set. Well, it's here somewhere. The die in the word die set is the exact same size. So you can just stamp and then there's also the die that cuts out the greeting that's the same size as the shadow layer. But some people don't want the whole stamp set. Sometimes people just wanna have a die. And I think I'm gonna put some thin foam squares under this. These are from Simon Says Stamp. I think that's just nice to give it a tiny bit more separation. But I designed this so that you could mix and match the greetings in here, whether it's 
you know, the little scripty ones can go right over the happy word. Um, you can play with the placement too, but I think what's fun about this is even though this will obliterate some of the letters, right, when we place the birthday on it, you can still read it because our brain's going to see these letter shapes and they say, oh yeah, yeah, happy birthday. And I love that. I love that about our brains. They, they, complete, they complete things for us. <laughs> My brain completes me. All right. I am going to put one more little guy there just to support the little A sender of the happy. And we will place this down. So here, here, here. Here, it just gives you a second so that you can say, I wanna make sure that I see a little green balloon. I like that popping out right there and right there. And that looks pretty straight to me. I think that looks pretty straight. What do we think? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, press. And now we're gonna put birthday. We're just gonna glue it so that it hits right about there. And that way you'll be able to, you know, you'll, well, or should I come in a little bit more like that? Happy birthday. Yep, I like it. I like it. I don't want to put it down here. I don't want to put it anywhere else. I thought about doing a little at an angle, but I think I'm just going to stick with my gut. And I'll just put my liquid glue on the back here. Okay. And just wherever it hits, it hits, and that will stay in place long enough. Okay, so we're just going to put it right about here. And our little brains, our awesome brains, are going to see happy. And we're just going to let that sit. Am I straight, though? I just got to make sure that's straight. Okay. Like that. I'll press it down and give that liquid glue a chance to adhere. All right. So let's get a few little gold beads here. These are from, this calls for confetti. And I thought maybe having a couple would be cute on this. So we will go up here like that. And you here, up here, there we go. Just gonna do the five and put the teeny, teeny, tiny one up here like that. And I think that's a pretty design. All right, let's glue them on. You know, we like to, we like to boop as we do, as we, as we will little glue and boop, oh, boop. There we go, didn't want to stick up, or it was stuck to my, my little tool. Boop, there we go. Boop, I swallowed that boop, it happens. Boop, and the last one, right there. Boop, and that is my finished card project. I actually love how this turned out. It's got that fun shine. It's got the little overlay, happy birthday, little bits of gold picking up, and that nice little masked area. So you can do this with any balloon stencil that you have. It's a really fun way to just create a little grounding area, pop on your greeting, put on a little shine, and you have a really happy birthday card. You can find links to all the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you. So hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. For more ideas for fun birthday cards, check out the two videos I have linked for you below and I'll see you there.